Good evening. If you've eaten at a restaurant lately, you might have written down your name and phone number for contact tracing purposes. But what happens to those lists when you leave? News 13's Annalisa Pardo asked restaurants and the state about it. Annalisa is live from her home this evening with that story. Annalisa? Dean, those lists are supposed to be used for contact tracing, but it's unclear how many are actually being used to contact people who may have been exposed to COVID-19 at a restaurant. I know a lot of people in the restaurant business, places I've worked, or friends or family that work at restaurants, they haven't been called either for that. Um, and we're just all doing what we're supposed to. According to the Department of Health, restaurants are required to do contact tracing in order to offer indoor dining. They have to keep those logs for at least three weeks. But a number of restaurants told us on and off camera they have never gotten a call from the state asking for those lists. Tomasita says they reported a couple in-house cases of COVID-19 to the state, but says they were never asked to hand over logs of customers who may have been exposed. Restaurants also tell us some customers don't love the idea of leaving their personal information, so it's un unclear how helpful these lists even are. They do put fake names and numbers, and you can tell their fake names and numbers. I hope it would be helpful to some. But it's hard to say, you know, if we hear about a case, um, whether it's in-house or a customer, no one's ever called us. We spoke to a contact tracer off camera today who says while they do ask people if they visited a restaurant for their investigations, that data is turned over to the state's epidemiology department and the contact tracer does not call the restaurant directly. Now we asked DOH if specifically if it requests restaurant logs for contact tracing, and it says restaurants do at times get contacted by contact tracers within the state's epidemiology and response division, but they didn't give any more detail. Dean? All right, Lisa, thank you. Now, we've also gotten reports of restaurants not keeping those logs. The DOH says if restaurants do not comply with the contact tracing requirements, they can be prohibited from allowing indoor dining, but can still offer takeout and outdoor dining.